if you're new to this channel, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, welcome back. <laughs> welcome. I think I need welcome back to be honest, because I clearly don't know what I'm on about. Um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Um, I've literally been off YouTube for years, and she's coming back with a bang, coming guys. Back with a bang. I am. I actually am this time. Um, so please subscribe and stay tuned if you're interested in hearing about our breast augmentation in Turkey. Let me just start off by talking you through the whole process. So we started off, we just DM'd Dr. Kareem, I already knew him previously. Um, if you've seen my other vlogs, you'll know um, I've vlogged previously um, when I went to him before. And yeah, then he just has his assistant WhatsApp you and he coordinates everything. So all you have to do is book your flight to Istanbul. They arrange a driver to pick you up at the airport and take you back when you're going home. Usually you'll stay here for like four to five days. You'll have your surgery the day after you arrive. They'll take you to a gorgeous, gorgeous five-star hotel um, in Istanbul called the Wanda Vista. Is it Wanda? It's Wanda Vista. Wanda. It's, it's insane. It's actually got everything. It's in beautiful. It. There's going to be a room tour of the previous room we had, which was absolutely stunning as well. Yeah. Um, the food in the hotel is amazing. We've actually been eating just really the hotel food because it's really good. They've got like British type food, so it's not too far fetched. Because when I was in the comfort zone villa, the first time I came to Dr. Cream when he was still with comfort zone, um, the food was like really not my vibe. It was like they would serve you a couple of olives and feta cheese and a bit of tomato for your breakfast, maybe a sliced turkey or something. I handle that. <laughs> it was awful. You could not have cooked in that comfort zone villa, Amber. She's the worst <laughs> when it comes to eating. She eats everything, but she's picky at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, so they have really good food in this hotel. Um, then the next day, you get picked up, usually really early in the morning. You'll go to the hospital. They'll do your bloods, everything they need to do, your tests, etc. And then you'll meet the doctor um, in the next hour or so usually and then shortly after that you go into your surgery then you're back out and then it's all done and you're just in the hotel recovering hi guys welcome to the vlog we've got an exclusive feature today um louis angus from Tommy, season 31 episode 2. <laughs> louis is kindly driving us to the airport at 3 a.m because we're driving to luton for our flight to istanbul so stay tuned. How are you feeling, Amber? I'm feeling super excited and super scared at the same time. It's going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Yeah. Picked up from the airport. Ooh. What? Oh my god. Bitch. Little room tour. So this is as you walk in. Then we've got the bathroom, bathtub. Look at these tiles. How unreal is this, Amber? Just sensational, guys. And this TV spins around so you can watch it on the couch please excuse my nails just got that in the shot again <laughs> we're gonna have to go and get these nails removed before yeah. the surgery tomorrow so this is just perfect and we've got breakfast included don't think we'll be able to go up and get breakfast so we've just come to this mall which is like a 10 minute walk from the hotel it's filled with about seven thousand people i've never seen a mall so busy in my entire life like what the hell is this I think we need to go up again. So we're trying to find somewhere to get our nails taken off. And we're trying to find we're trying to find some food because we're starving. We've actually not really eaten today. So we thought we'd come down for a little spa before we are in agony for the next week <laughs> or longer, who knows? I don't know where the spa is. <laughs> where, why are we back here? Oh, it's through these doors. Oh my God, how stunning is this? It's such a beautiful pool that, isn't it? So we've got our setup for the evening. Spag ball, salmon, some lentil soup, and we're gonna watch Love is Blind. We can literally cannot oh, connect it to the um, TV, so I've just ordered to having to watch on the laptop. Food and my salmon has no baby potatoes with it and that's what's on the menu. Yeah, so our safe is jammed closed with all of our money to pay for the surgery and Amber's got our taxi waiting outside to go to her surgery. This is just so difficult. But yeah, do not trust digital safes, guys.
alalım sana ee, olsun. Hani e, before surgery Okay guys, welcome back. I am now about four hours post-op and they brought me some soup that I have to eat. One of them's like a chicken soup, I think, and the other one's like a sugar soup. And I've just asked for some water. Um the painkillers have given me are really good because I'm not in any pain at all. I can't really move obviously and the only way I can describe it is it feels like I've been in the gym um it feels like I've done the gym and my chest just hurts the muscles hurt that's all it feels like which is so okay Hey guys, it's now 12 o'clock, day one post-op um, in the afternoon and I've just been served some lunch. I am a little bit, not pain, but in a little bit of discomfort. Oh, these are my implant boxes. Motiva implants, 380cc. Why does it look like there's more in it than then what comes out? You don't know, if you just do that, that's it. Like that. Look at us today. <laughs> Luncheon, shaking the tits and everything. Cool. Day three. That's it, you'll be sweet. Try. Yeah. Okay. You okay? That felt weird. Yes. It does feel weird. Take breath. Yes. Okay, now so this is our last day at breakfast. We're going to get picked up from the airport in about half an hour. So we're just getting some food, and we've got our stuff all ready to go. And we are literally dreading this flight because it's going to be so long and uncomfortable. Time to go to the airport and go home. We just had our painkillers, so we're just hoping that the flight is comfortable. So we're on our flight home and Amber's decided to pick out all her lash extensions. <laughs> um, RIP. RIP to the lashes. Got about an hour, I'd say probably about an hour and a half, hopefully left. Or less than that, I think. Yeah, and we are really uncomfortable in the flight. Very small. The, the ibuprofen's probably helped a lot actually with the pain. And like, yeah. it's not really like a pain, it's just like pressure. It feels like your ribs are so swollen. So, um, yeah, this vlog really was just to talk about our boobs because I didn't actually post my boob vlog. Boob vlog. <laughs> Sorry guys, I've not been on YouTube in a while. A bit rubbish. My breast minute. augmentation. My breast augmentation. Um, so I didn't actually post the footage that I took from that last surgery, which was done in April. We're now in November, so it's been a while. Um, I've been telling Dr. Kareem that I'm going to post this YouTube video for months and months, so he probably absolutely hates me. I do highly recommend Dr. Kareem at blank surgery he's the only surgeon i've ever used in turkey i just trust him so much he's very realistic he won't overdo the thing either no. so it's not like oh i'm gonna go to turkey i'm gonna come out looking like a barbie doll i mean who wouldn't want to look like a barbie doll but you know <laughs> um so i feel like he really he's a bit of a minimalist you know that you're gonna get you know a good job you're not gonna come out looking butchered and you're not gonna come out looking worse off that's why i feel with him anyway but I am a little bit scarred still from my first nose job, so I'm still super precautious about jumping into any sort of surgery. Amber and I are currently in Istanbul. I'm 
being the caregiver this time. However, I have been slightly roped into potentially getting a very minor, minor procedure done. Um, <laughs> so basically, I've always had hooded eyes and I've always wanted to get surgery on them. But at the same time, it's a scary thing to do because if you've watched any of my previous surgery vlogs, you'll know that I had a major F up with my first nose job, um, which I completely regretted and I would take it back completely if I could. Um, so now, before I do anything to my face especially, I'm very sceptical and cautious. So um, I actually went for a consultation when I was about 16 to see about getting my eyelids done. And I ended up backing out because he was going to take away too much skin. The thing with me is, I like my eyes. Like, it's the one thing about myself that I actually don't want to change. But having hooded eyes is quite annoying, especially when you're a makeup artist. Because I can't really do certain eye makeup looks. I can't do proper, like, eyeliner or anything like that. It doesn't look right on me. And I am happy with them when I do my makeup. But without makeup, I do feel like they just look a little bit hooded. I don't know, maybe it's because I've just not had my Botox done for about seven years. Thanks, Morgan, for moving back to Wales. <laughs> um, so, Second that. <laughs> yeah. So I've been tempted with the idea of getting my eyelids done Monday morning and we fly home Monday evening. <laughs> so obviously Amber's telling me not to, so is everyone else, but the price is going to be a lot cheaper than if I was to come back and do it at later, a later date. Like, it's basically half. So... I can't lie, I'm very tempted. I don't want to regret not doing it. Mm. But at the same time, why <laughs> break some... <laughs> don't fix what's not broken. I'm pointing exactly. at you with my missing Here we are. Um, So that's how I feel, but uh, I'm really up and down about it. And I feel like when you're up and down, you probably shouldn't do something like this. But I'm going to speak to him on Monday. It's Dr. Kareen, by the way. Um, and see if he could potentially do it exactly how I want it which would be really 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 subtle like the tiniest 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 bit of skin taken away not much um so I just need to see how I feel on Monday really about that um but I'm not really going to be talking about that too much in this vlog you'll find out in the next vlog if that goes ahead or not so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned the one thing I would recommend is to definitely bring someone with you. Um, we've actually come across a couple of people that have come on, on their, their own, own. Mm. and I just think that's crazy. Like I, I'm here purely so that Amber's not on her own. Yeah, um, because which I appreciate a lot. Thanks. Shout out Top to friend. <laughs> Top um, friend. But I may end up getting <laughs> surgery because clearly I can't come to Turkey without getting surgery. No um, job. <laughs> I literally was just saying to Amber, like I'm actually so proud of myself. Like I'm not. I'm, I've not and decided. I actually said nothing because I just knew. <laughs> <laughs> I, just knew I don't know what it is. It's the minute I start seeing all these girls, their fox eyes and their bloody <laughs> eyelid surgery and their lip lift, I'm like, hmm, what can I do? <laughs> um, but anyways, I might not get it done, but you'll have to watch the next vlog to find out. So yeah, the experience all in all is amazing. Like, I can't tell you how comfortable I feel here. A lot of people have messaged me ab about um, going to Turkey for surgery saying that they're unsure if it's you know feels safe or if you feel like you're taken care of properly and i truly truly feel more comfortable here than i felt in a hospital in the uk actually for somebody that's had um surgery in the uk as well i will say turkey for me the the staff just and the nurses are so much more on job i think as yeah. well making you feel safe like 100 percent. Mm. i was obviously only here just as amber's support and i had to get a taxi there later on after she left and he got his assistant to come out he was texting me on whatsapp saying make sure you let me know when you're here keeping me updated on what time to come when she was going to be out of surgery and he literally came down the taxi driver i had didn't speak good english which was a problem so I had to get him to come down and he, he kindly came with me to go to an ATM. I had to get cash and just help with the communication. I just felt really safe. Like you just feel like you're in really safe hands. Like mm. I actually feel because we've been here now twice together and I genuinely feel I could come on my own. We genuinely had the best experience. We've both got mm. matching boobies. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to probably put in like a bikini picture or something. I mean, you're not going to see the full thing. I'm not an OnlyFans. But yeah, I'll obviously show you before and afters. Amber and I have got serious before and afters oh my God. serious like and it's so weird because boobs is something i wasn't even that fussed about getting done Same. but 
I don't know, we, hot girl summer was calling, we just had to do ones. it. You're only young ones. <laughs> and I just thought, if I'm gonna have the hottest body of my life, it needs to be when I'm in my 20s. I can't be doing that any later than my 20s. Mm. I mean, I still will, would have done it later in my 20s, but you wanna be hot when you're young, right? So <laughs> we did it um, and we literally loved them so much. The scars are really small. I mean, we've got, we've seen other people's scars that have been to other surgeons and we think he's done a really, really good job with us. Mm -hmm. um, we've not had a single problem at all. Um, a nurse will also come to your hotel room every single day to give you like whatever medication you need, um, check up on you, change your dressings. Yeah. Um, one thing we didn't really know we were gonna be getting with the boobs was drains. We had serious drains hanging from us, like from here and here. And we were just walking around the hotel with these drains, like feeling like we're at a horror movie. <laughs> <They've> <laughs> if I'm honest though, I feel like with the drains, you know, as as it comes across, it does help because it's draining the fluids out of you that shouldn't really be compacted inside yeah. you at the time. But it is one of the things that's most uncomfortable about it. I'm not going to lie. It's yeah. just annoying because you've constantly yeah. got something attached to you, and you you need to be very careful when you're moving around, going to the toilet, mm. blah blah blah. And I actually didn't get my drains out till like literally we were about to fly. <laughs> Amber got hers out like two days before, but apparently they have to be at a certain no, level yeah. before they will take them out. Um, and taking them out, although it seems squeamish, it actually wasn't painful. Her face was the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. It was like a sensation. I was like, <gasps> <laughs> it's literally like a worm is being pulled out of your rib cage. Rib cage. It's awful. Um, so yeah, that's one thing, but it's nothing to be scared of. It's it's necessary for these types of surgeries. It helps mm. your body heal quicker stops the swelling and um, if you don't do drains then you end up having extra fluid which you'd need to get lymphatic drainage massages and mm. it would just cause lumpage lumpage what lumpage. <laughs> See what you're trying to say. so that's just one thing to note um i feel like because i've waited so long to do this video i can't really remember what people wanted to know so if you do have any questions you can dm me on instagram or you can write it in the comments and i will reply um but I just wanted to express how great of an experience we had and how much we love our boobs. And at a very, very good price. At a very good price, guys. Mm. Not Nothing compared to the UK at all. Um, and, you know, yeah, we, I just can't speak highly enough of him, really. I think we've been we've been really lucky in picking him as a surgeon. Yeah. Um, and he's really friendly and his wife's lovely as well. And I would recommend anyone from the UK or anywhere to come here for surgery if they are looking. What else have I missed? Let's talk about the pain. So I'll say my bit and then Amber can say her bit because yeah. we have both different, s slightly different experiences. We spoke to some of our friends that had had boob jobs before and one person would say it's not sore, the other person would say it's absolute agony. So I was terrified because I genuinely was like, what is this pain gonna be like? Because I had no idea. Mm. Um, and you'll see from the vlog that I've put in this video, um, I didn't think it was really painful. I, I don't know like how, but I just felt like it felt like I've been I'd been to the gym or like done a chest workout, and it just felt like there was pressure. It does sometimes feel like a lot of pressure on your chest, but if for me when I think about pain, I think of like someone stabbing me or like a sharp cut or like you know like proper pain. So that for me wasn't like pain. Do you know what I mean? It was very bearable and. It wasn't anything too intense, I would say. It's genuinely just like you've been to the gym and you've done a heavy, heavy chest workout for about six weeks. <laughs> it does ease off, I'd say, after like the first week. It's not overly painful though. It's definitely bearable, I wanna express that. It's not too bad. But certain things like sitting up like this, lifting your arms, it, you have to do everything slowly because it's more difficult. Like if you'd been to the gym, you can't sit on the toilet if you've done legs. It's, it's like that. You need to just do everything a bit more slowly. Flushing the toilet. Oh wow. When you've had your boobs done. Oh wow. I don't know what muscle this is here, but <laughs> fuck me. Um, Even changing the gears with my car is, <sighs> um, is uh, what's it called again? Not on manual. Auto, manual, sorry. Changing the gears within two weeks of getting my boobs done. It's got to have been one of the hardest things I think I've had to do. Yeah. Like, I don't even know why, but it was like, yeah, it was. You could feel it like a little like you, a tingle, like a pop or like a tingle. Like, yeah. and another thing I noticed when I was out in public, you know, like a push door or a pull door, trying mm. to pull doors open and push doors, like it just even weeks and weeks after, it just feels a little bit like oh, like something's yeah, it does a pull. Something's happening in there. <laughs> um, 
but it's not too bad it's that's my take on it i'd probably rate it if we're talking about pain as in like being burned alive it's probably like a four out of ten um sorry that was a very intense like comparison that was absolutely mad. sorry about that but anyway i'll let amber describe her um, thoughts well for me it was a bit different because i actually went in thinking that it wasn't going to be a, a problem or a drama at all i thought to myself it would probably just feel a bit uncomfortable that was my whole thing it was just like going to be uncomfortable well when i come out of the out of surgery i instantly needed painkiller like straight away because it just to me it, it was tight and i felt like my chest like i couldn't breathe but that was purely because of the size of the implant that they pushed into such a small breast pocket like i had nothing there before laurie had a bit more there than me so i, did, I feel like yeah. that might have contributed to her not having maybe as much pain as me but um i wouldn't even really say it was pain i would just say it was tightness and then because you have to allow for swelling it then goes even even more tight and uncomfortable and i, I just i'm not good with sleeping either so i just didn't get much sleep i got quite grouchy and you know the painkillers you're taking as well you then have to start taking t uh, tablets to to protect your stomach because and I'm not going to be like too gruesome, but it's, it does, you know, all the tablets and all the painkillers you take, it does have an effect on your stomach and can be quite explosive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the one thing I didn't wow. like. Wow. My stomach wasn't very good. Um, but other than that. Amber was trying to feed me buscapan. <laughs> what, what's your other thing you take? You take? Um, She's got all them tablets on tap. I don't really take anything yeah, like that. I just things, let yeah. things happen naturally. But Amber's always got the stomach tablets on on tap yeah buscapan is the top <clears> favorite <throat> of mine because that's the one that when you've got cramps setting in it just kind of gets in there and settles those cramps before you know as if we're talking about this i know this is mad but god we're going in but yeah that these are things that people probably would want to know like you are on a lot of you're on antibiotics and painkillers and they do give you stomach protectors so i feel like without those maybe it would have been 10 times worse maybe but. Yeah, my, st my stomach's sensitive anyway. I don't know mm -hmm. whether everyone's going to be like that, but that was just my experience. But yeah, no, it, it wasn't hell. I'd probably say my, my pain threshold um, with other things is different to how this was. With I've never had a, like an invasive surgery like that before, really. So yeah, um, it, it was okay. It just mm -hmm. it was more painful for me, I think, than Laurie dealt with it a lot, a lot better. Yeah, <laughs> obviously Amber's skin was stretched a lot more than mine was. Yeah. So possibly that could have, contributed to her having a like slightly different experience um but all in all we didn't find it horrendous at all mm. i would say surgeries like bbl lipo probably a lot worse than that um mm -hmm. and our scars as well have healed really really nicely um we do use the sunbeds now and then so it's something that you shouldn't really expose on the sunbed you should always cover it but Oh, it's long isn't it trying to cover it every single time so there's been the odd time where we have like not been careful in the sunbed and I mean it's not that bad is it but our scars have healed really nicely and yeah I would just say don't worry too much about your healing process just let things happen as they do just don't do too much we had a great experience and we loved it and we love Dr Kareem so thank you to Dr. Kareem and his staff. Shout out blank surgery. Dr. Shout out, yeah, all his nurses are so nice. They've all got us on Instagram. They like proper, like just, they're so friendly. And I've not found people in Istanbul to be that friendly no. when we've been out and about. So it's nice to feel like you've got that little family when you're here that, you know, you can speak to about things and ask questions about the surgery. And um, they're literally always available on WhatsApp. So it's great, highly recommend. And I think that's all for this video really. Just make sure you subscribe to find out if I go for this surgery on Monday or not because I'm still 50-50 on that. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.